Hey, good day. Good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hey, just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Listen, the question I'm going to pose, being that it is Mother Day, what you won't do or what you would and would not do for your mother? What you would and would not do for your mother? You know, that's the question I'm asking today. What you would and would not do for your mother? I know me. I love my moms. I was a professional mama boy. I lost my mother years ago. But it's a different, like, what would I do and what I would not do for my mother? I would die for my mother. You know, right now, which, guess what? I would let nothing happen to my mother because, once again, I am a professional mama boy, and I love my mother. So today, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about two individuals right now, Wes. You know, I'm going to talk about Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols and Howard Pappy Mason. Okay, here it is right now. Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols, okay, one of the biggest player, one of the biggest drug dealer at that present time. You know, right now, what he was doing... He did everything that he can do to protect his moms. Like I said right now, his mother, Louise Coleman, right now was facing time. Facing time in jail. Okay, here's a picture of Louise. Okay, what he did was he took a deal. He made a deal and cooperated with the United States government. He, right now, he was a kingpin. But he made a deal because, once again, he didn't want his mother doing no jail time. And once again, what wound up happening is this. You know, Pappy. They offer Pappy and they offer Cat the same deal. But Pappy say later for that, man. I'm not taking no deal. So what happened with Pappy mother? Pappy mother wound up going away. This is the mother. She wound up going away, like I say, for 10 years. Okay? 10 years. To me, I don't care what anybody say. Whatever I need to do, my mother's not going to jail. I'm not, I, I don't care what the situation, what the circumstance or whatever. My mother's not going to jail. Let's sit back and think about it. Back then in the 1980s or whatever, you know what I'm saying, period. It was different situation that was taking place. Okay? Different situation that was taking place. And even right now, when the situation was taking place, you know, here it is. To me, you got Fat Cat Lorenzo Nichols and you got Howard Pappy Mason. And what they did is right now is, guess what? I'm talking about right now is... They had to make a made the decision. And the decision that they had to make, will my mom go to jail or will my mom not go to jail? Okay, here it is right now. Guess what? Everybody, everybody's different. Everybody look at things differently. Everybody thought process is different. And to me, I don't care what anybody say. My mother, if she was caught up into what I was caught up to, guess what? She would not. I don't care. I'm going to repeat that. She would not go to jail. I don't care right now if I got to spend the rest of my life in jail. My mother is not going to jail under any circumstance because once again, I love my mother more than life itself. I repeat, I love my mother more than life itself. So the difference is what you have is they came, the United States government came to Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols. They made him an offer that he couldn't refuse. Listen, you make a deal and you cooperate against the Howard Pappy Mason and everybody else. And once again, guess what? What we're going to do is we're going to let, here's a picture of his mom and his sister. We're going to let your moms go and we're going to have lenient on your sisters, you know what I'm saying, and your wife and your girlfriend. So what Cat did, Cat took it upon herself. Cat being the kingpin, being one of the biggest players at the time in a New York City drug operation, he made a deal. He made a deal with the United States government. But what happened is his mother did not go to jail. His wife did not go to jail. His girlfriend and some of his mistress, you know, right now is, guess what? They got very little time or no time at all. His nieces right now is, some of them did time. Um, his sisters, some of them did time. But the difference is with Pappy. Pappy say later for that. Pappy say that, guess what? Listen, he's not making no deal. He's not pleading guilty. What he did was he allowed his mother, he allowed his beloved mother to go to trial. And Miss Claudia Mason went to trial, and when she went to trial, they found her guilty. And they found her guilty of more or less being part of his organization, the Bebos. Howard Pappy Mason and Bebos. And what they did is they sentenced her. They sentenced her to 10 years. Okay? She was 63 years old, and she got sentenced to 10 years. To me, I couldn't do that. What happened, even in the very beginning, when that case happened... What a, our case stemmed from a parole officer murder back in 1985. Then what happened to add insult to injury, a police officer got murdered in 1988. 
Rookie police Edward Burns got execution. So you know what? The feds got involved. They had 1,100 hours of wiretap tape on our case. So the difference is right now was, guess what? Me being who I am, I went. When I got picked up, the, the raid came August 11. They went August 11, 1988. They hit Cypress Hill headquarters. Only thing they found in like Cypress Hill headquarters, because I've been left at an apartment, they found a bunch of drug ledger. They found, like, you know what I'm saying, more or less like right now, what? On um, crack valves, you know, like scales. That's it. Okay? Right now, they raided, okay, Virginia. They snatched up Fat Cat Wife. And what they did is, they snatched up Fat Cat Mother. What they did is, once they snatched up Fat Cat Mother um, in Alabama with her husband, then they turn around and they snatch up Pappy Mother. Right now, when they snatch up Pappy Mother, they found drugs. Okay? They found a large sum of drugs and money. Okay? What, when, they, when they did that or whatever, you know, they wind up bringing Cat and Pappy down. They both were serving a state bid. Once they brought them down, um, they charge everybody. So to me, like right now, that happened August 11, 1988. I didn't get picked up until November 10th. November 10th, I got picked up like 90-something days later. I was on a run. When I was on a run, I was trying to get plastic surgery. When I was trying to get plastic surgery, guess what? You know what? I went to New York. God wanted to do it. Then he changed his mind because he felt once I know what he what I, what, what I look like, what he was going to do is, he felt I was going to kill him. That was not the case. So the difference is right now is I went to Cat when I got picked up November 10th, 90 days later, and I wound up meeting up with Cat and them once I got extradited from South Carolina to, you know what I'm saying, New York City, and I got to MCC. When I got to MCC, I told Fat Cat, I said, listen, man, they got you. They want you. They want Pappy. They want me. They want our Chinese connection. What we need to do is let, you know what I'm saying right now, everybody in our case cooperate against us and let them go home. I'm saying from your mother to Pappy mother to your sister to your nieces to your wife to your girlfriends. I'm talking about to my you know, half brother at the time. Let them make a deal with us and let them go home. But Kat looked at me and said, no, you go to trial first. Let's see what they got against you. Then I go to trial. Man, you out your rabbit mind. You know, when you sit back and think about it, sometimes you can love people more than you love yourself. And the difference is right now, I had to make a major decision. I wasn't going to allow, you know what I'm saying, my buddy, my friend, my mentor, use me as a human guinea pig. So what I did, I made my own deal. Okay? So now, what happened? Cap made his own deal. And when he made his deal, guess what happened? He made a deal, and right now, he still got 40 years. But his mother got cut loose. Okay? Some of his sister and niece got lenient. His girlfriend, I think a few of them did a couple of months and they went home. But the difference is right now was guess what? Pappy. How would Pappy Mason right now is he had that militant mindset. And what he says, he was not going to make a deal. He was not going to plead guilty to anything because he felt by him pleading guilty, that was a form of cooperation and he was not going to cooperate. So what happened in the long run? Miss Mother Mason. Mother Mason got 10 years. She went to trial and she got 10 years. At 63 years old, I don't care what anybody say, folks. Listen, that street life is overrated. I don't care what anybody say. They can say what they want to say. To me, I don't care. I would have spent the rest of my life in jail. I would have died in jail. My mother, the late Dorothy Gibbs, would not have done any time. Especially right now, guess what? My mother was not part of that. She was a law abiding citizen and she didn't believe in and sanction what I did. But in the same token, I don't care. Even if she was involved, I was not going to let my mother spend time in jail when she didn't have to. And to me right now was Pappy say later for that. Pappy came from a whole totally different militant background. You know what? The Sonny Carson, the re-education. Look that up. Google it. Sonny, you, and re, like, do what you do. and enter, Like right now, Google Sonny Carson. Pappy was in that movie. And I didn't know that Pappy moms used to date Sonny Carson. And what wound up happening, Robert Sonny Carson, she used to date him. And right now, was, guess what? Here it is. He was a third brain. He went to trial. And he let his moms blue trial. And what happened is they wound up sentencing her to 10 years. And to me, I don't care. I'm not going to do that. I was not going to do that under any situation. You know what I'm saying? Period. Look what this say. Look exactly what it's saying. Pappy Mason mom took over son drug ring. And then right now, the New York Times reported Pappy mom, you know what I'm saying, was sentenced to 10 years term. I don't care, folks. 
Listen, to me on Mother Day, you know what I'm saying, 2021, I don't care what anybody say right now. First of all, don't get your mom involved with that nonsense. Second of all, protect your mom at all costs. Right now, was like the temptation say, I will always love my mama. You, you know, right now, listen, you only get one. You only get one. I will always love my mama. So the difference is right now is a lot of people look at Cat. Well, you made a deal. You was one of the biggest player of the world. But it didn't matter. What he did was he did everything in his right in the rightful mind, and he protects his mother. Listen, folks, my name is Brian Glaze Gibb. Get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky book, A True Story of Change and Redition, by emailing me, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. Thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button, like.